Structure, structure, structure. I'm sure you've heard so many instructors emphasize how important structure is to drawing. It is something your drawings need. But why? Why is it so important? And what makes it so elusive, especially for students and beginners? Let's take a quick look at what it is, why you should pay close attention to it, and a few tips on how to ensure your drawings have it. The usual, a quick thanks to everyone who supported my books, Pen and Ink Drawing, A Simple Guide, and the Complimentary Workbook. Thank you. And if you have visited my website, you can see that it's currently under uh, construction. So as soon as it's done, the video course will be ready, the pen and ink shading course will be ready, so you guys can look out for that. First and foremost, if conveying realism is important in your drawing, then structure should be important to you. But what is structure? Honestly, uh, structure is easier to discern than to uh, define. But essentially for me, it refers to how clear and sound we perceive uh, or sense an object's three-dimensional shape or its solidity. All right. So it's mainly what we address when we simplify objects or reduce them to simple forms. And this is why uh, mastering simple forms is such an important part of learning drawing. Simple forms are uh, the best examples of structure in its simplest and purest form. But unfortunately, too many students, uh, beginners, tend to skip this uh, you know, seemingly boring but very critical part of learning drawing. They rush to draw uh, complex subjects like portraits and human figures before mastering the simple blocks, cylinders, spheres, prisms, and so on. You see, the thing is, drawing simple forms gives us the essential skills and uh, foundation we need to properly address structure in our drawings. Structure ensures your objects clearly convey solidity and three-dimensionality. So in the same way we perceive the volume, mass, and three-dimensional shape of simple forms, we should perceive the same qualities in whatever subjects that we draw. So you should think about uh, the noses, for example, the noses uh, prism-like mass first before shading or applying any details. Right? You should feel the, the, the cylinder or cylindrical mass of a tree's trunk before actually worrying about, you know, barky details on the surface. So structure should be thought about at the beginning stages of your drawing. Having no structure is like, it's like building a house with little or no framework. Even with shading, no shading should be done before you think about the structure of the mass you're shading. In fact, uh, light and shadow should always complement and accentuate structure since it's the structure that dictates the form's interaction with light. You know what I mean? So ask yourself, is the form, uh, you know, a block or block-like? Is it rounded? Is it uh, cylindrical? And so on. So you realize that understanding structure first makes shading a lot easier. Now, one of the most common drawing mistakes is to put details before structure. And I see this a lot, especially with students, uh, when students are rendering um, texture. No matter how dazzling or mesmerizing your textures are rendered, if they are not modeled based on structure, they will appear just as flat patterns. And that's why, uh, even in my book, I emphasize that structure should always follow form. Now, enough time should always be spent in the construction phase of your drawings. Too often, uh, you know, I see students rush through uh, the construction phase of their drawing because it may not be the most interesting, I understand, or fun, and sometimes requires too much time and patience and focused attention. But structure complements and sets the foundation for the rest of your drawing. So try to spend enough time mastering the simple forms, you know, because they're what really provide the best path to learn how structure works, um, what structure looks like. I feel a lot of students struggle with not understanding if they have solid or sound structure or not. And by mastering simple forms, you have a solid understanding of what it looks like. Sound structure is the basis of good drawing. All right, everyone. So I hope this video was useful and helped you to have a better understanding and appreciation for the importance of structure in your drawing. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Keep practicing, and I'll see you next video.